Hi and welcome to another episode of Kingdom Woman. Today I'll be talking about how to hear the voice of God and what are some of the ways that God speaks to us. You know, we've noticed the quality of a reception on a cell phone varies widely, right guys? And depending on where you are in the country, it can either be a good reception or poor reception, right guys? And the same is true with you. You must be positioned correctly or we will not hear him speak to us. That is God speaking to us. And you know, which brings me to my topic today, hearing the voice of God. And my scripture reading is taken from John 10, 27. And that says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, and neither shall any man be able to pluck them out of my hand. And my Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. You see, Jesus is saying here, in this particular scripture, sheep is making reference, and the reference is used to God's people, that is you and me. And as we are all sheep, Jesus speaks to each and every one of us and I'm not more special than you are okay guys I mean I'm not exa- I mean like I'm not more special than you guys I mean God says you know what my sheep hear my voice that means you and me as well hear the voice of God and you know some people would have you to believe right guys that is only the pastors the prophets or somebody with a theologian degree or somebody you know who's high up in office in, in the ministry is able to hear the voice of God but that is a lie of the enemy and a lie straight from the pit of hell because the devil wants to trap you into thinking that you you cannot hear the voice of God. So I want to encourage you today as a believer, you know what, that God is going to reveal himself to you, you know what, and he's going to speak to you today. And which brings me now to my first point, reading the word of God. So we have to position ourselves, okay guys, to hear from God with the spirit of expectation with us. That means that's a strong belief that something will happen or be the case. So to hear the voice through the Holy Spirit, We can hear the language of God and his heart and how he speaks to us. And even the tone of what he is saying and to whom he is saying it to. But when you read the word of God, there is guidance for you. You see, he will lead you and direct you in every single area of your life. You know what? And in Psalms 37 and verse 23 says that, you know what? The steps of a righteous man are ordered. So you know that God orders our very first steps. And when it says man, it means to say man and woman, you know, expanded. And sometimes, you know, we read the word of God, but we must go into the study Bible and, you know, we must see the word expanded. You know, we must be able to, you know, what, expand on the word of God. And, you know, just like you communicate with your loved ones when you call your husband or your wife and you know what their answer is and you know how, and you know how they answer, you know the sound of their voice, you know the tone of their voice, you know if they answer in any particular way, you know if they're in any kind of mood to be honest with you. And this is exactly how God wants, this is how God wants you to know him. He wants you to know his voice, you know. He wants He wants you to know him on that level, you know. And this is how God wants to speak to us, you know. And in all good relationship, guys, guess what? Communication is important. You see, this is how God desires to speak to each and every one of us, you know. He wants a relationship with each and every one of us. And he wants us to have that that conversation with him, you know. And he wants to reveal himself to us. You see, we are a part of God's family. And and we hear his voice because John 10, 27 tells us, you know what, we hear the voice of God. And to hear the voice of God, we must spend time with God. That is so important. We must spend time with God on a daily basis to grow in him. We must read the word of God. We must spend time in worship and praise before God. Sometimes, you know, you could sit and be quiet in the presence of God just to hear his voice speaking to you. And if you're struggling um, to believe what God is saying to you, you know, Romans 10, 27 says, you know what, faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. And listening to the word of God helps to build our faith and to believe what God is saying to us. And in Hebrews 4, 11, it says, you know what, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and of the marrows and is a, and is a discerner of the intents of the heart. Hallelujah. Which brings me now to my second point, you know, that God can even use the pastor in church or even a prophet to speak to you, right guys? And in Amos 3 and 7, it says here now that surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So it's not just prophets, guys, but you know what? Each and every one of us, you know, we hear the voice of God. God speaks to us, right guys? So let me give you guys an example. Have you ever gone to church, right? And you go up for an altar call and all of a sudden you're in the line, the pastor is praying for you or the prophet is praying for you. And then they begin to tell you something about your life, what you're going through. And then they begin to tell you what God is saying to you. That is another way that God speaks to us as well, okay guys? So I want you guys to, you know, keep your minds open. You know that God isn't just speaking to us from one way, but he's speaking to us in many different ways, okay guys?
So the third, which brings me now to my third point, which is spiritual perception. is a feeling of a sense of the Holy Spirit is asking or impressing you to do something. And it's like a still small voice, you know, speaking to you, you know, telling you, yeah, you know, it's like a little nudging in your spirit, you know, and it will, it will, let me give you guys an example. So have you ever tried to make a decision, right, guys, about something? And something, you know, like in your gut telling you, hey, you know what, I think I shouldn't do this, you know, or maybe you think that you should do this. So guess what, that's the Holy Spirit speaking to you because guess what, we have God living inside of us, the Holy Spirit speaking to us, ministering to us. So that's why I said in John 10, 27, you know what, the word of God says it, that you know what, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. So guys, we hear the voice of God. You know, another way that God speaks to us, and this is really interesting because I have a lot of friends of mine and even myself, I have a lot of dreams and God speaks to us, guess what, through dreams. And there's a scripture in the Bible here now, and it's from Acts chapter 2 and verse 17 that says, you know what, that and shall come to pass that in the last days, and we are living in the last days, okay, guys, and this is God saying this, he says, say it, God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, on all flesh, that means all, not some special people, but all, you understand, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Now, the context of the scripture keeps saying men, right, guys? But guess what, ladies? I want to tell you guys, that doesn't mean only men, but it also means women as well. Because guess what? He says, you know what? That I will pour my spirit on all flesh. You know, sometimes we get so busy in our lives, you know, and God wants to speak to us. But we're so distracted, you know, that we're not sensitive to the voice of the Lord. You know, but, you know, sometimes you're even in work as well, too, you know. You're, I mean, like, obviously, I mean, it's a busy day. It's hectic. You know, even social media is very distracting as well, too. So guess what? If you're busy all day and you've got no time during the day, you know what, to pay heed to the voice of God or even just pay attention, just to even kind of like focus, you know, just to hear the voice of God. Guess what God is going to do? He's going to give you a dream in the night time. Okay, guys? So God is going to get your attention. He's going to have your undivided attention while you sleep, believe it or not. You know, he will speak to you in a dream in the midnight hour when you're asleep. All right, guys? And he's going to give you instruction about your life. Guess what? Sometimes he will give us a dream. Sometimes he will give, he will show us something in the future that's going to happen. And sometimes it could be good or it could be bad. And you know, and sometimes he's given, that, that's also a prayer strategy. He's showing us before it happens sometimes. Because guess what? He wants us to pray for or to pray against it. And that's a prayer strategy that God is going to give us. I want you to start paying attention in your dreams and ask God what he's revealing to you in your dreams. So you're not asking him to, you know, God help me to interpret you. What does it mean? So sometimes we dream some things and you say, you know, you take it for granted. And you say, this is nonsense. I dream in yes. You know, you dream in something running you down in a dream or you're dreaming, you're falling in a pit, something like that. Hey, you know what? Ask God to reveal what this dream means to you. Right. Which brings me now to my fifth point. And it's about visions, right? So God even talks to us, speaks to us through visions as well. Book of Daniel, he was a man that God spoke to him through both dreams and visions. And you see, there are different types of visions. There are open panoramic visions. So those are ones that you can actually see with your eyes open, seeing moving pictures like a movie in front of you. Have any one of you guys ever had that? You know, type in the comments, you know, say, and let me know if you guys have ever had that type of um, revelation from God or God speaking to you that way through dreams of open panoramic visions. And the next one is the closed panoramic visions. This one is with your eyes closed. Same thing happening with the pictures and the movies picture like movie just in front of you like that and that is God revealing himself to you know God showing you giving you instruction as well in your dreams all right guys and so that is another way that God speaks to us which brings me now to my sixth point you know and it's about the audible voice of God so have you ever heard the audible voice of God so Sometimes God, sometimes, you know, God will speak to us in that way. And I want to give you guys a story from the Bible. And um, it's from the book of Samuel. And Samuel was a young, a young priest in the temple and he was being trained. He was being trained by Eli, right guys? And both Eli and Samuel, so they went to sleep They're in different places. You know, they went to sleep. And Samuel heard a voice call out to him in the midnight hour. So he got up initially because obviously there's only two of them there. I mean, who else is going to be except Eli, right, guys? So he went to Eli and said, Eli, did you call me? So he said, Eli answered and said, well, no, I didn't call you, Samuel. So Samuel went back to bed. And now he heard the voice for a second time. No, he went back to the priest to ask Eli, hey, did you call me? You call me again, you know, like he's confused now. So now Eli discerned that it was the voice of God and told Samuel the next time he heard the voice to guess what? He says, you know what? To answer and say, speak now. To speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Hallelujah. So you see now, the thing about it is, 
You see, Samuel was a young believer, a young person in the Lord. So he wasn't able to discern that I was the voice of God. And it's okay if you're young in your Christian walk. You know, you could grow in God. You know, once you spend time in the Word, you seek the face of God and worship. You know, you're going to grow in God and you're going to know His voice. You're going to hear His voice clearly. And it is such a wonderful journey, you know. I mean, with Christ, I mean, to just be in His presence, you know, to hear the voice of God, you know. And that is another way that God speaks to us. Okay, guys? True. The audible voice of God. Right, and another way that God speaks to us is through angelic visitation. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know the story in the Bible about Mary, where the angel appeared before Mary and told her she was about to bear a son, right? Right, so it's not just Mary God spoke, um, the angel spoke to, right? So there's more than one person where angelic visitation happened. And it happened with Daniel, it happened with John, it even happened with Peter as well too. And these are just a few of them, you know? So God may speak to you in this way. And this is if this has ever happened to you guys, you know, type in the comments. Let me know, you know, which one of the ways God is speaking to you guys, you know? Um, so if you need direction, you know, God is going to guide you. And as I said from Psalms 37 verse 23, what the word of the Lord says, you know, that, you know, that... That, you know, the steps of a righteous man are ordered. And sometimes, you know, we need to train our spiritual senses to hear the voice of God, you know. Sometimes we need to train our ear, our listening ear to hear the voice of God. And, you know, in closing today, I just want to encourage you guys to know that God could use anything or anyone, you know, to speak to us. And you know what? We must have that spirit of expectation that when God speaks to us, you know what? That, you know, we would hear his voice. And, you know, I, and, you know as you go on this revelatory journey in Christ, you know, I pray that God would reveal himself to you. That you know that you would hear the voice of God and hear the voice of God clearly, you know what? And do not limit God in any area of your life, you know, to how you can actually hear the voice of God. But you know what? I pray that the God of all Lord Jesus Christ, with the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of Him. You know that you would hear His voice and know His voice clearly speaking to you. You know what? And that brings me, you know, that comes to the end of our topic today, you know, hearing the voice of God. And these are just a few of the ways that you can hear the voice of God. You know, I just want to say thank you guys for joining me again you know and i want to say god bless you and if you think this will be helpful share this with a friend and also like and subscribe for more content weekly god bless you